Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make $180 per hour with no experience. And I do have the proof to back me up. My name is Josh and I make videos on ways that you can save, make money, and all things related to your finances. Make sure you do two things if you care about your finances. And if you don't care about your finances, don't do them. And that is to subscribe and click the bell and that way you don't miss anything. And if you are looking for ways to make money online, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. So I picked three random days on my PayPal just to show you uh, that this method will actually work. And I like to go with a one fourth rule just for estimate purposes. Meaning I take what I made and divide it by four and normally after fees and paying for the item, one fourth remain as a profit for me. As you can see on March the 27th, I brought in $563.93 and that's just on a handful of orders. So on March the 27th, after applying the one fourth rule, I made just over $140. And keep in mind, I only put in about an hour of work for that $140. March the 28th, after bringing in $854.97, after applying the one fourth rule, my profits were in the ballpark of about $214. And on June the 19th, I made $742.85 giving me a profit on this transaction just over $185. So that was just about three random days that I picked. And out of those three days, I only worked about an hour a day. And I made about $180 if you averaged out those three days per hour. And when I say work, you're not really working. You're just doing online shopping for other people. And I'm going to give you some examples of how you can do this starting today. I only commit about to an hour a day and sometimes not even that. With this method, you don't have to have a website, business experience, no money down or any other special software in order to do this. And I do want to keep this video short, so I'm about to go on on my computer, give you what you need and that way you can start making money with this method like today. All right, so this is how this worked. I'm on walmart.com and I'm looking for this computer here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste the title and I'm going to come over here to my eBay and I am going to paste it there. And let's see, as you can see, it's the exact same computer. And the top one right now is selling for $399.99. So this person is making a $101 profit on the same computer that they purchased over from Walmart. And how do we know that? Let's see. So I'm going to click here. And as you can see, it's the exact same pictures. So this picture here, this picture here. So I can already tell that this person drop ship this from Walmart. So the only thing that you would have to do at this point is come down right here where it says have one sale. So you click here on have one sale and all of the information that you need is already there. And the cool thing is I can just go back and copy this over and I'm going to save that and I'm going to move it right on over here and that's going to be my main photo. All right, and I will take this picture and I can just copy it and whenever it comes up, I can just move that over and after I do all of that, I can then go to my price and option. After you do all of that, you just say listed. And from there, your listing will be there and when somebody come across that on eBay, I then will come back over here to Walmart after making sure that the customer paid. That's very important to make sure that the customer actually paid for it and the money is in your PayPal account before you go back over to Walmart and just buy it. And whenever you buy it, ship it as a gift. And that way, whenever they receive the item, it's not going to have the original price tag. However, it will come in a Walmart box. And the great thing with using Walmart that your customer service can be through Walmart. So a lot of times on my eBay account, I have no returns, but if somebody do inquire about the product, 
I just refer them to go to a Walmart location or to call the Walmart customer service and they will be able to help you out from there. And that way it takes a lot of the customer service and the customer interaction whenever there's a problem or a concern out of your hands, then it put it back into the hands of Walmart. So let's look at another item. This next item is an exercise bike. So what you're gonna do again, I'm just gonna walk it through. There are different apps that you can use uh, to compare prices across the line, and I will put that in the next video. This is my Dropshipping 101 version. So what you're going to do is highlight the title and you're gonna take it back over here to eBay. Now I am going to just simply click on this and see what comes up. Uh, let me move this over just a little bit there. And again, you can see that on Walmart, it's the same lady on the bike. And this person right here is making roughly about a $70 profit on this first one. However, you can see that the prices do fluctuate. You do not have to be the least expensive in order to sell. You see this one right here is a few dollars more. You have three people watching that. This person right here sold some. Uh, so just for fun, I'm going to just click on one. As you can see, it's the same lady doing the same exercises. What you will do is click on, you have one to sell it. And whenever the information come up, simply you can just take a picture of this and I'm just walking you through this. And after you take the picture, you just upload. When somebody go back to order your product, again, you just add this to your cart, then just go on and ship that off to your customer and ship it as a gift receipt while you are able to keep the profit. The best part about using Walmart over another company like AliExpress is that Walmart, they have their warehouses everywhere. You do have the free shipping option with Walmart and as well it's like most of the time it's two day shipping. That's pretty much how drop shipping would work 101. There are different apps out there that you can use in order to compare prices to make sure that you're getting the best price and different techniques and methods as well. If you want to make sure that what you're selling on eBay will actually sell and it has a demand for it, you can go on eBay and just search around for different things. And I'm going to click on this turmeric and I'm going to show you what to look for. This person has already sold 497 bottles of this turmeric. And also you can see there is a demand for this product because 161 people have viewed this product today, meaning that people are out there clicking on this looking for a deal and looking for this product now remember that it's selling right now for $11.99 this person may have purchased it at another website out there for about five or six dollars I like drop shipping because you never have to touch or even store a physical product during the transaction and still you get to earn a good income while you serving as the middleman, you are essentially connecting the customer to the supplier. And in this instance, we are using the supplier as Walmart. Well, that was very briefly how drop shipping work. I know there's a lot more to it than that, but I didn't want to go so in depth that people start getting confused. I will do that in the next video. Not confuse you, but go more in depth. Now, if you do know somebody that will benefit from drop shipping, make sure you go on and share this video with them and that way they can benefit from this as well. There are also more videos over there on your screen on ways that you can save, make money, and enjoy your life on a budget. And I will see you in the next video.